Hey folks, let's talk about hunting rifles. Specifically, what's different from a hunting rifle and a precision rifle, a target rifle, a tactical rifle, anything like that? What makes a hunting rifle specifically a hunting rifle? I think in the modern era, the lines have gotten blurred. Uh, a lot of people are hunting in ways where they're using rifles that really fit other niches because it's what they've got and it works well. But if you're making a dedicated hunting rifle or you're purchasing a dedicated hunting rifle, what are things you might be interested in considering? And you have to consider what kind of hunting you're doing. If, if you are hunting in the mountains, that is different from say a prairie dog rifle where you're gonna sit down at a bench. You're gonna be laying down in the back of your pickup truck on a bipod or a bench, uh, I mean a, a, a rest setup. You got, you got to keep that in mind. But for the most part, if you leave out prairie dog hunting as its own thing, and you leave off, say, uh, rabbits, hogs, you know, the kind of hunting where you're firing lots of shots over and over and over, if you leave those out of the equation, the key difference with a hunting rifle is that it needs to be first round accurate, maybe second round, and then you don't care. You're not firing 10, 12, 15, 30 shots. You care about one cold bore fresh rifle shot, as in you cleaned it yesterday. It is whatever ambient temperature is, and the first shot needs to be on target. And on target doesn't mean absolute pinwheel bullseye perfection. It means close enough to get the job done at the distance it matters. So for example, if you're deer hunting, standard white-tailed deer, if you make a normal shot, you could be off by an inch, two inches, and be okay. Like that's two inch from where you aimed, you're fine. At even up to two, 200 yards, 300 yards. So a minute of angle or even two minute of angle rifle perfectly adequate, that, that's, that's absolutely fine. So with your ammo, with however you're supporting or aiming the rifle, a two minute angle rifle is okay, as long as it's always that good. First round, second round, then you don't care. It doesn't matter, once it, he starts warming up, you don't care. You're not firing multiple shots, but you need that first round to be where you want it and you need your second follow-up shot to also be good enough. It doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be good enough. And I think this is something that's gotten lost in the common pursuit of more accuracy because the manufacturers can do it. They can make an affordable rifle that is super accurate, but they start to get heavier, they start to get more restrictive on what stocks you have, they start to get you know, you start, people start putting more and more optic power because the rifle's capable of using it, but you're hunting. What distance are you shooting at? Uh, here in Texas, you're shooting generally at most 100, 150 yards with a rifle. So wh what do you care? Why do you need, you know, 25X on your scope? Why do you need a 300 wind mag for deer at 50 yards? Does it need to be half minute of angle? Who cares? The deer does not care that you shot it in the right hair you were aiming at. That's not relevant. Good enough is good enough. Properties that I look for in a hunting rifle are reliability in shitty conditions. So something that is not temperature sensitive. It's not finicky about hot to cold. Because for example, people very often forget that it's say five degrees out or less in the morning when you head out to go hunting, but it's 70 in your cabin. It's 70 in your truck on the way there. Does your rifle fog up the minute you step outside? Does your rifle twist a little bit? How does it handle that? in terms of accuracy. Is your rifle and ammo accurate at 
five degrees. Did you zero it at five degrees or did you zero it over the summer at 80 degrees? That matters. I see that all the time. People zero the rifle in like late August and then go shoot in October and November and go, how did I miss at 100 yards? Other things I look for. Easy field of view. I don't want high magnification. I want more field of view and enough magnification that I can make a good shot. But I want to see the whole animal. I'm not worried about which hair I'm aiming at on the animal. I want to see, if not all the animal, most of the animal at 100 yards. At 50, I still need to see enough of the animal to be know, to know where I'm aiming on the animal. Not, I'm, I'm aiming at a brown patch. Where's that brown patch? And you're moving it around trying to see where you're at on the animal. Which brown patch am I aiming at? Show me more of the animal. Uh, honestly, I really think that out to 100 yards, 3x is plenty, 2x is plenty. Uh, I mean, realistically, guys, let's, let's think about this. I put a 2x optic on one of my ARs rather than a red dot so that I could consistently and easily do headshots on half-size silhouettes. Headshots on a half-size silhouette. That's, that's this big, okay? That, that's a square that's like four by four. What do you, like, why do you need more than that? Well, if I'm hunting, that is now good enough for me to go, yep, coming up the leg, right, 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 right down. Coming down the back, right down. But I can see the whole animal. I can see the field of view. I can see what's around the animal so that I know if I'm following the animal across, you know, uh, an opening, I can see, hey, there's a tree coming up. I either need to take that shot or I may need to wait, right? If you're hog hunting, you can see a big enough area to get multiple hogs. These are valuable things in a hunting rifle. So, uh, the other things, main things that I would consider, weight. Uh, I really think a lot of people hunt with a rifle that is several pounds heavier than they need. Your hunting rifle does not need to be comfortable to shoot. It really doesn't. It needs to be good for one shot. You need to be good for one shot, maybe two. And then it, it, it could be days before you shoot it again, even if you're doing multiple hunts. Now, would it be nice to do more? Sure. Is 308 that abusive? No. 270 that abusive? Really? 30 out 6? No. But if you have a six pound rifle in hot 270 load, my 8 millimeter Mauser, hot 30 out 6, 300 WSM, yeah, if you have a six, six and a half pound rifle, that's gonna, that's brutal. I don't think you need 300 WSM for most stuff, but if you're shooting further out, yeah. Because um, even at long range, accuracy and barrel weight have nothing to do with each other. It's just easier to make it stay accurate over multiple shots in a string with a heavier barrel. Yeah, there are barrel harmonic issues and things like that, but. Within reason, for hunting purposes, four, 500 yards with a lightweight barrel, fine. The gun needs to be up to it. Don't buy a gun that is three minute of angle and take four or 500 yard shots. Okay, now you've, you've, your kill zone has, you know, you're missing. But one minute of angle, one and a half, that's fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Unless you're shooting groundhogs, unless you're shooting gophers, how big is the kill box on the animal you're hunting? If you know that, hey, my rifle's gonna hit somewhere in this four inch circle at this distance, aim somewhere where all four inches of that circle are a kill. Don't, don't go for the spine shot and go, oops, it went high and I missed, or I just skimmed the top of its back. Don't go for a neck shot when he's moving his head around and if you miss, you know, if the shot doesn't go right where you want, you miss. Plan, think it through, you know. So anyway, take care, have fun, stay safe, keep shooting, guys. And uh, look at those Black Friday sales. If nothing else, I know Bass Pro has some good stuff in ours, um, some interesting stuff. So, see ya.